Hello, this is the official YouTube page for Ambrosius Augustus Rex. For those of you who have been following my blog page for years, you already know what I'm about. Those of you who are seeing me for the first time will find out soon enough. Mostly what I will be doing here is commenting on uh, current events that are in the news and giving my take on things. Uh, the first issue that I wanted to comment about is one that I can identify with on a personal level, and that is the mother who was arrested in South Carolina for cheering at her daughter's gradu graduation. And the woman's name was Shannon Cooper. She's all over the, the news right now, lots of uh, articles about her on the internet. The article I'm using at this time is from a website called www.wsfa.com. And in spite of all the hype, this issue is a relatively simple one. Um, there's really two points that I would like to address. Uh, one is why... It is inappropriate to cheer during a graduation ceremony. And the other is the issue of whether or not the way they dealt with her was too harsh. All right, so let us discuss. Uh, there's a reason why they tell you to hold your applause at a graduation ceremony. That reason is because when they read the names, they read one after the other, after the other, after the other. If you stand up and cheer and clap or blow a horn or whatever, make a lot of noise, you are going to drown out the next two, maybe three names that are being announced. Everyone else has just as much of a right to hear their child's name announced as you do. You need to treat others with the same level of courtesy that you expect them to treat you when you're in a public uh, ceremony, you need to have a sense of decorum. I realize that not everybody was raised to have a sense of decorum, but this is a personal shortcoming, and other people should not be penalized for your personal shortcomings, especially when the rules of whatever ceremony you're attending are clearly enunciated. So, uh, her cheer, let's see, I got up and I said, yay, my baby made it. Yes, just a regular cheer, Cooper said. Well, maybe that's just a regular cheer for you. But is everybody else cheering? No. There is not enough time to allow for an applause after everybody's name. That's why they read the name swiftly and ask you to save your applause for afterwards. That's when you applause and you give your emotional reaction. If you want to express your appreciation for your child on a personal level, that's between you and them, not between you and everybody else at the ceremony. So this is why we don't shout at ceremonies. I think that's simple enough because you'll drown out the next two or three names. Um, they could allow for an applause after each name, but then the ceremony is going to go on for a whole day, probably. So let's look. Was she aware of the rules and were the consequences of her violating the rules too harsh? She said the policy was ridiculous. She was clearly aware of it. Don't scream. Don't cheer. No, I'm thinking in my mind, no, I'm going to cheer because, you know, I went through too much to get her to this point. She said, I can't show my excitement. I can't cheer. I can't applaud her, letting her know. Yes, I'm so proud of you. Like all the other years when people graduate, how can I not cheer for my child? You can cheer for your child. You just have to wait until everyone's names have been announced because, again, Everyone has just as much a right to hear their child's name announced as you do. You're only thinking about yourself. And let's see. Uh, so she knew by her own admission, she clearly knew what the policy was. And she chose to violate it of her own free will. So was it too harsh? No, I don't think so. Because this will discourage other people from uh, engaging in that sort of behavior. It's not too harsh. It's not. And the thing is, she knew that she knew what the policy was. She chose to violate it. 
and uh, she faced the consequences. If she had cooperated with the policy, then this whole outcry of her being arrested, all of this would have been moot or academic. But she chose to break the rules. She faced the consequences. When you break rules, you face consequences. That's it. So the issue is a simple one. No, I don't think the punishment was too harsh. I hope that this will become a trend and they will arrest more people for cheering at graduation ceremonies because it's very rude and very disruptive. And some people, they need to learn to have a sense of decorum. And that is all I have to say on this. I wanted to keep it under three minutes, but I failed. But at least I was thorough. So until next time.